Hi, I'm Jennifer from Martingale. Today I have a trunk show to share with you from the book Scrap Basket Knockouts by author Kim Brackett. Now maybe you have some of Kim's books from the Scrap Basket series, but you haven't seen knockouts like this. This book has 12 imaginative quilts and they use a variety of strip sizes and squares. This first quilt is called Knots and Chains. It's an Irish chain variation that's very easy to piece. Kim gives you all the details how in the book. And the other thing that's important to note about this book is for all of these quilts that I show you today, there is an alternate variation for how to set the blocks and turn them and get a whole different look. So beyond these quilts, you get an illustration of that second look. And this one's called Knots and Chains. I love the premise Kim had for this next quilt called Friendship. And you can see these friendship stars that appear in the center of the blocks. And she uses a folded corner technique and a variety of scraps, her favorite scraps. And she asks, can't you imagine using this as a block exchange among friends to really get a scrappy look? I love that, the friendship quilt. How many of you are collectors of dot fabrics? I know I am. I have a basket in my sewing room that's dot fabrics, more dot fabrics, and even more dot fabrics. That's how much I love them. So this pattern is called Dot Crazy and it uses all kinds of dots and uses sort of a rainbow ombre as you go across the pattern. But if you love dot fabrics, this is a great uh, way to showcase them in a variety of scrappy black fabrics, set it off. And the alternate version of that quilt is another fabulous way to use that block. Quirky Pinwheels is a quilt that Kim offers a challenge and that is to challenge yourself to use any fabric. We all have those fabrics in our stash that we think, mm, I'm not sure what inspired me the day I bought this and maybe it looks a little different. But for this quilt of quirky pinwheels, she says, choose prints for the pinwheels that have high contrast between the background and between each other um, so that you get this nice contrast for those quirky pinwheels, really fun. Here is a quilt that's called Three Patch. And the diagonal pattern that you see running here makes it appear that some of the blocks maybe are pieced differently, but they're not. Um, it really is a changing value that creates that sort of up and down illusion that's going on. And Kim shares all the secrets for how to get that. But what a great way if you keep leftover stri strips and squares to make a super scrappy quilt. Now maybe your style isn't quite so scrappy and you like something a little more calming. So this one is called Calm Waters. And you really just rotate uh, four eight and a half inch blocks to create one of these large stars that appears here. So beautiful, Calm Waters. Now log cabins are a favorite for many of you, and this quilt is called Logs and Bricks, and it's sort of a non-traditional log cabin, but still has the half light, half dark blocks, and gets that Irish chain going because of the placement of things. So Logs and Bricks. How many of you start with a plan for something and then go to plan A, plan B, plan C? This one Kim calls plan B because she was working with pieces from an abandoned project. And I absolutely love the use of this solid gray. And she uh, said things were getting a little too mushy in the center when she started. So she added the uh, folded corners on the edges of the blocks. And it really just creates the illusion, I think, of lattice and this beautiful edging. And then she's even got flat piping on a few of the quilts along the binding. And she shares with you how to do that as well in the book. This one, maybe you have to take a look at to get the feeling, but it's called plaid four patch. So it's, if you love tiny four patches, uh, this is perfect. And Kim says, you know, if you don't wanna make hundreds of them at once, then consider making 50 at a time between your other quilt projects. And in no time, you'll have all the things you need to make plaid four patch. 
This quilt is the favorite of one of the gals in the office. It's called Crisscross Baskets. And different prints in basket, the portion of the blocks uh, combined to create this sort of crisscross. They're tipped in different directions and creates a lot of movement going through. So if you're a non-traditional basket quilt lover, that could be for you. Lily combines Kim's love of a few favorite elements, low volume fabrics that she used for the background and pastel colors plus simple blocks. This whole quilt is made with nine blocks. So if you can make nine blocks, you can make this quilt it's called Lily. Beautiful. And last but not least, this quilt is named Torque, and it uses a variety of fabrics from a single designer. And Jen Kingwell was the designer of these fabric collections, and so Kim chose uh, to use all Jen Kingwell fabrics, and Torque in Australia is where Jen lives, so that's why she named that quilt this. But you can sort of see those chains start to emerge vertically in the Torque quilt. And again, color placement, Kim shares all her secrets for making these fabulous quilts. Look for the book, Scrap Basket Knockouts by Kim Brackett, wherever you buy books or at shopmartingale.com.